Hey YouTube, I wanted to talk about the California wildfires and uh, I've heard some people talking about uh, perhaps directed energy weapons and things of that nature and um, now I've heard others completely scoff the notion but uh, this is the current map right now what's burning this is here is ca.gov Cal Fire and this is what's going on right now there and the discussion uh, I think really started because of photos like this that just really show complete ash heaps um, there really is very little left <clears throat> in some of these photos but then right next to it there's a tree or you know some other odd thing where just one place will be completely just burnt to a crisp but then there's other things around it and so that's where the discussion comes in and other things like uh, I mean melting cars you know the the fires have been burning at seemingly a higher temperature than standard and so the discussion came up or comes up about directed energy weapons and is it even possible and things like that and uh, I have had my own theory about a directed energy weapon um, in fact something I forgot to pull up but all the way back to 9-11 and building 6 in matter of fact I'm gonna search that right now on start page uh, building 6 photos let's see Okay, well, there's one tearing it down. Let's see. I, I need an aerial photo of Building 6. I wonder if they have these still. Let's see. Aerial photo. Hmm. Okay, Building 6, 9-11. There we go. Okay, look at this. This <laughs> is building six in here. Right there. Uh, World Trade Center. And here we'll we'll visit the page. We'll just go there. So I mean look at that. Does that look like a directed energy weapon to you? Okay. So then this is has been kind of my theory about this place out here in California where I live the world's largest solar plant to go live now this is an old story about when this place is gonna go live but here they have these circular arrays that shoot all they direct their energy up to these big boilers up here that glow white hot and create energy or whatever and here let's just see three large towers rise up from California's Mojave Desert and cast long shadows like giant sundials beneath them thousands of individual mirrors face upward toward the clear sky radiating outward into geometric patterns that can only really be appreciated from an aerial view oh at first glance Ivanpa solar electric generating system looks almost alien almost yeah so then we this is what happens out here the Mojave Desert you know the solar plant kills six six thousand birds a year and that's not gonna change because that's what they do you know <laughs> they they have these beams and in this story 
it talks about the a macabre fireworks show unfolds each day along I-15 west of Las Vegas as birds fly into concentrated beams of sunlight and are instantly incinerated, leaving wisps of white smoke against the blue desert sky. Workers at Ivanpah Solar Plant have a name for the spectacle. Streamers. <laughs> and the image conscious owners of the 390 megawatt plant say they are trying everything that they can to stop the slaughter. Yeah, well I mean how are you gonna do that? It creates 1000 degree ambient temperatures let alone with them streaming or directing this light. Okay so there's there's what happens just on the ground and what we saw here is that, uh, you know, they face upward towards the clear sky radiating outward into geometric patterns. And I remember when I was young, I was born in 1974, and I remember when I was young, Reagan talking about uh, the Star Wars program, and I remember seeing, like, your basic green and black diagrams or whatever of these you know like your basic kind of space invader graphics going up and then coming bouncing off a satellite and coming back down and uh, anyway so here's just an example of it Russia is to launch radial reflective satellites set to be the brightest quote star in just two weeks and so over apparently this thing failed to deploy they say um, but point is it's a reflective satellite you've got the thing on the ground over here I'm sure there are other things like this around the planet this just happens to maybe be the biggest one that we know about you know it's in California and so they have these things. Now check this out. This is uh, the sun gun, right? From It's been around this. This stuff has been around. It's been talked about for a long time. The sun gun or helio beam. That's right, because we live in a heliocentric place, so they say. And... Uh, Anyway, here you go, and then listen to this guy here. There is a lot of mission space where the covert capability of the laser is also beneficial because you can cause an effect without there being any visible sign of what, what caused that effect. Lockheed Martin is yeah. the only company to have internally funded a 30 kilowatt laser weapon prototype. Okay, so that's just what they can do with lasers, you know, but we're talking in here, yes, uh, the army did get it and so check this out the Nazi sun gun oh and what did we bring over with operation paperclip well those Nazi scientists uh, that were working on the sun gun so maybe the theory of a directed energy weapon um, causing things like building six at 9-11 or um, you know maybe <laughs> just some of these fires and whatever well maybe there's something to it and you know this was funny too because A little residual for you guys mirror mirror on the wall what's the weirdest Nazi concept weapon of them all the Sun gun of course it is mirror mirror on the wall it's all connected folks so smash the ideas of what we all thought was real and uh, have a good good day enjoy it because it hasn't all happened yet, at least not to all of us. And so uh, get your heart right with God and give thanks for what you have. Enjoy your families.